死んでいる何<音楽> Hello everyone So today we'll be going through a mod that is called the Requiem mod Now this is a relatively new mod that is available on Fabric version 1.14 to 1.16 To briefly summarize this mod it basically overhauls the vanilla dying system or death system into a new or more exciting way of coming back to life. So to get started with this mod, you first have to, well, um, kill yourself. So I'll just use a command, you can choose other ways. So after you die, you will get sent to this dialogue where you can ask these questions, what is going on, things like this. And if you uh, ask these questions, it's gonna tell you what exactly is happening. So you can choose to play as a demon or as a human. If you choose to play as a human, you basically go on with the vanilla experience and this mod really doesn't affect you. Which I really like because like you can play this on a server and you can choose whether or not you want to become a demon. So different players will have different styles or different gameplays. So uh, because we are doing a review, so we choose to play as a demon. So it's asking you a lot of times. You are you sure it's gonna become you? You want to become a demon? It's because it it really sucks to become a demon in some cases, which I'll show you later on. So as you can see, when you die, you turn to um, this gray matter that walks around. Now again, I want to stress that this mod is in a relatively new stage, which means that there will be some bugs. So for example, it's not available or it's not compatible with some shaders yet, that's why I'm using Vanilla Plus because on the Cursewatch page, it's saying that it works with this shader and I'll put this shader in the description also, so if you guys like to use shaders, you will use this one. So when you play as a demon, you will be able to possess entities, but not any entities, only undead entities. So if you can, uh, if you try to possess these, you get this really trippy effect, but you don't really get into their bodies. So. One thing I, I find really interesting is that when you try to possess these animals, it shows a different texture, like kind of a scary version of these animals. Uh, I don't know if it's, it's a bug or not, but it's quite spooky and it fits into the theme quite well. So I just turned the time to nighttime because it's really hard to find undead to possess in daytime. And that's part of why it sucks to be undead or a demon in daytime. You cannot go anywhere. I mean, you can go a lot of places. You but you cannot interact with the world, you cannot break blocks, but you can fly really high and really fast. So you just fly like how you would in creative mode and you can press control to accelerate. Now when you accelerate, you will um, be able to slip through any like one block uh, places. So for now, I'll process this skeleton. And voila, we've become the skeleton. I really like how uh, when you turn into any kind of undead, you have their hands and your character will be look like this also. And you can also see that I have this uh, attribute, which is called uh, attrition. This basically means that when you turn into undead or when you die, you gain a stack of attrition. And the more you die, you gain more stacks of it. And in hardcore mode, you die or your game is over once you reach 4 stacks. So you really need, need to be careful about dying too much. So when you play as an undead, you will walk much slower. But one of the cool things is that they will not attack you. So you can just hang around with your friends here. But if you do decide to attack them, they will attack you back. So just be careful. As an undead, you don't have to eat anything. But when you lose health, you won't naturally regenerate. Which means that you need to eat to regenerate health immediately. So because I'm playing as a skeleton, I'll need to use bones to repair myself. But if I'm playing as a zombie, I'll need to eat raw meats to replenish my health. So one thing you may be able to notice is that if you die, you just turn, in, uh, turn back to a demon, which is kind of... Uh, the selling point of this mod for me. It's just that you can mess around in this vault as any kind of mob and you can just go on a rampage as a demon. So when you play as an undead, you burn in the daylight, which is the main reason why I say it sucks to play as a demon sometimes, because in daytime you cannot turn back to a human and if you're playing as an undead, you have to hide under the trees or in a house or something, which really sucks because 
you cannot sleep it over and I hope they provide a way or they will change it like in the future to provide a way for you to skip through the daytime because it's really boring in daytime. I've tried this mod for 15 minutes and I'm just getting bored of waiting in the daylight. So as you can see I only have 2 health and that's because I have attrition 4 stacked up. So in this case it really sucks to be an undead and you can't really do much. So what can you do? Well, if you want to turn back to your human form, you will need to perform a ritual just like how you would for a zombie villager. So just like what I said, you need a weakness potion and a golden apple. So firstly, you throw this weakness potion and then you'll be able to eat the golden apple. Now this process is really long, so maybe I'll see you once I actually turn back to human. Alright, so I just turned back into a human, so you get nausea effect at first and you slowly regenerate your health from 8 health, I don't know why, maybe it's a bug. So yeah, the mobs will attack you again and you can just play as a normal player again until you die. So let's say that you don't want to play as a demon anymore, or let's say that you're a human player who wants to try out being a demon, so what can you do? Well, you can obtain something called Opus Damonium. I tried to pronounce that. So it's quite a difficult recipe, I would say, because you need to defeat a phantom, as we all know that phantom is really hard to beat, and you need Ender Pearl and Black Dye. So actually, it's not too difficult, it's doable, but it certainly requires some effort. Anyway, so. What you do with this book is, as you can see, there's nothing up here and you can choose to sign and done. Now you cannot sign it yet because you need to write some code inside. Now the code is actually available here. So the red one is called the curse and the blue one or the light blue one is called the cure. So for me, as I'm a demon, if I want to turn into a human again, I'll have to write this code or this uh, magic spell in this book. So let, let me try to write it. and. From my experience, you need to write it in caps lock. So as you can see, I can actually sign it, but I am lacking in experience, which is why I got these. So now I've got five levels, which is what it requires. So I'll just turn this into the cure book and voila. Now all I have to do is right click with this book. As you can see, it does this really cool effect, and then you will be turned back into a human. So if I do decide to kill myself now, uh, should I? Yeah, I should do it, to show you guys. So you just die like how you would normally. And as you can see, I just respawn normally too, and I don't turn into a demon. So if I want to play as a demon now, I need to give myself 5 levels of experience, and then write in the code. Yep. So I just sign it, and then right click, and now I'm a demon again. Alright, so that was the end of the mod review. I know this is kind of a short one, and in my opinion, I think currently the mod doesn't really provide too much incentive for you to play as a demon. The mod offer uh, mentioned that you can play as a demon to travel around, but I don't really see that as a viable option to travel because if I travel I want to retain my infantry and I want to play as a player and I don't want to uh, I don't want to stay under the tree for the whole daylight. So I think they should um they, they could implement some ways for you to get rid of the daylight so you can travel as an undead mob. Or maybe you can uh, process some normal mobs once you level up your demon. I don't know, I'm just brainstorming. So regardless, I think this is a really cool mod. It's really unique. I haven't seen mods like this for a while. The last one I've seen is I think called Astroy, I forgot, <laughs> which you can uh, kind of experience what it's like to be outside of your body. So I really like mods like the these, they are really unique. And I think this mod in particular has a lot of potentials. From what I've seen, this mod is coding and uh, a lot of the visuals, a lot of them are spot on, so uh, keep going. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of the video. If you guys like this video, uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I usually upload mod reviews every 1-2 to two weeks. And be sure to check out this mod as well and the shader that I linked in the description.
So yeah, I'll see you guys next time and goodbye.